Look at them all having a party. Fair play to them. Good morning fellas, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video today. Watford at home, back at Villa Park. Last week was vile, last week was terrible, last week was something that I don't want to talk about. It was genuinely horrendous at St James's Park. We had a fantastic weekend up there, had a couple of nights there, but obviously the football always lets you down. We were genuinely terrible. The performance was up there with some of those that we saw in the five game losing streak that uh, you know, saw Dean Smith get sacked. So it was genuinely, genuinely that poor. We couldn't pass the ball, we couldn't put a successful cross into the box, we couldn't take a free kick without hitting the first man or we're going out with a goal kick just the really really basic things we made look really really hard so in the last two games against size that you probably say would be looking to get a win we've got one point against Leeds and Newcastle and who's up today Watford Watford who haven't scored under their new manager Watford who obviously haven't won under their new manager Roy Hodgson and they're becoming coming to Villa Park with a little bit of confidence based on what happened to Villa last week and based on what happened when we played them earlier on in the season where we got absolutely thrashed but either way we've got to win today we've absolutely 100% got to win today whether they'll be changes. I think there's got to be a couple. I'd love to see Danny Ings come in. Douglas Louise was terrible last week, but what do you do? I don't think we have the talent in midfield to sort of change that up. Either way, we'll see what happens. Good to be going back to Villa Park. Obviously a sellout. Just quickly before we crack on, please do subscribe. Let's try and smash 1,000 likes as well. Comment your thoughts on the game. Without further ado, quick message from our sponsors. So, massive shout out to this video sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all the information sent between your device and the internet. Also, the VPN can change the real location of your device to a new one. Well, you may be sat there thinking, what the hell does that mean? Well, let me tell you. So if you're sat there in the summer on holiday wanting to change your device's location back to the UK, because, for example, you want to watch Villa's pre-season games that are only streamed here in the UK, easily done, mate, with Surfshark VPN. Also, for example, I know a lot of people who watch these videos are based outside the UK. With Surfshark VPN, you can use BBC iPlayer just like you would be able to in the UK. Just simply change your location back to the UK. Bosh, watching match of the day, simple as you like. Also, for you lot based in the UK, if you fancy changing your location to that in the US, easy to watch Premier League games that aren't streamed here in the UK. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 65 countries, meaning you can unblock sports streams, films, or Netflix that are only being shown in certain countries. Like I said, for example, you can watch Premier League games for only a fiver using Peacock, just like those people over in the US. How good's that? Now this is all unbelievably safe by encrypting your online data so you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. Surfshark's clean web feature blocks ads, trackers, malware and phishing attempts allowing you to surf the web safely when watching games not on TV. And on top of all that you can use my code VILLAONTOUR to get 83% off plus an extra 3 months free. And if you don't fancy it, fine. Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee so there's absolutely zero risk with this. So please help the channel out, help me out. Use the link in the description to download Surfshark. Genuinely, it's fantastic. Go and download it. Without further ado, back to the video. So, with Team News has just come out, it's in one change. Danny Ings is the only change. Gerard made, you know, it clear that he might make a couple of changes, but there's only one. Danny Ings, I don't mind that. Realistically, the midfield, what are you going to change? Like, Louise stays in there. McGinn, Ramsey. McGinn needs a better game. Louise needs a better game. Ings is the only one that comes in. Needs a goal. Come on. Leo, then, what's your score prediction today, mate? 2-1 Villa. Give us an up the Villa. Good man. Right then, Watford. I seen the team. He said there'll be changes. There's only one in terms of Danny Ings. I like it. I'd love a Danny Ings goal, but I'm dangerously optimistic in terms of going 3 0. 3 0 or 4 0. It's outrageous. I'm never ever that confident. But there will be a reaction today. There'll be a reaction. 3 0. Danny Ings will score. Jamie Brown. You got your hat on. What are you saying yeah. today, son? Uh, I, well, I'm not confident because you said the last you said four nil against Leeds. I did, yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. But um, I'm going two nil. I think Louise needs a good game. Yeah. I think otherwise it's a bit. Gross. McGinn as well. He hasn't really done anything the last yeah, game. Yeah, I yeah. think he needs to have a presence. Two nil. Yeah, I'm saying two nil. Yeah. Three nil. Confident. <laughs> Right then, right. Watford, what are we yeah. saying? Yeah. Sunshine. I'll go 2 0. The team, I expected more changes. Danny Ings. Danny Ings, he's got a goal in today. Isn't he? Danny Ings, Wendia, 2 0 Villa. Villa, 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 Come on, you Villa boys! Come on, the boys! Yeah! 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 Y
penalty. All corner. Well, I tell you what, there's a shout for a penalty. Danny Ings is fuming, and on the replay, it does look it's like clumsy. Mate, it's yeah, it's clumsy. clumsy. It's a penalty for me. Well, as always, as always. Three minutes in. Hit the post, mate. It's got to score. It's got to score. Then it's a great ball through. Danny Ings has got to score. Well then, half time. I think we've probably been the better side. I'd say. I think Danny Ings obviously has been much more lively than probably Watkins has in the last four or five games. Obviously, he's at the post. Um, just receiving the ball and popping it off is much more lively than Watkins has. We're not lively, Coutinho has been decent, but haven't created anything clear cut. Foster hasn't, to make, hasn't had to make any like major saves, but we've been better. We have been better. We've been better than we were at Newcastle. We look okay. Defensively, we look okay. They haven't created anything. Ishmael Asar has been quiet. Um, so we look okay, it's decent, it's promising. Shooting towards the whole end second half, you'd like to think we'd be much better. We create something. So I'm going to stick with the 4-0. <laughs> Come on, Oh, referees are crap! Louise has gone off for Ollie Watkins, that's very attacking. Louise has been poor once again, I don't mind that at all. Just over 20 minutes to go. We're getting closer. We are getting closer, We're but Foster still hasn't to do anything. Really piercing. Come on, man. has just stood there on the edge, right? He's been able to analyse the whole situation, putting a ball, unchallenged header. It's terrible defending again. Going forward, we've made it look so hard. They've had one chance, goal. Look at them all having a pass here. Fair play to them, fair play. This is terrible. It's got Newcastle written all over it. They're going down injured. People are leaving. Six minutes. Week in, week out. Free kick, we've already walked out, but we've come back. <laughs> Ma Martinez is up. This will go straight out. Oh my god. Corner, corner ball. Oh, another one. Exactly the same feeling I've got now than I did after Newcastle. Just another nothing, horrible, dreadful performance. Gerard, after Newcastle, said there'd be changes, there'd be a reaction, he'd make changes to the team. There was one change. Danny Ings came in, did okay. Hit the post, um, but just going forward, nothing really at all defensively for their goal. Ishmael Asar has got all the time in the world to pick out a cross, and Dennis is there beating his man. He's hungrier, he wants it more, he's first to the ball against Watford. Okay, they're, they're, they're desperate for every point they can get, but with Villa, we're at home, it's embarrassing, it really, really was. And the thing that does my head in is the really easy things we can't do. 10 yard passes, across into the box, taking a corner and beating the first man, putting a good free kick in without it going out for a goal kick, just little things like that. What do they do during training all week? We've seen all this stuff from Gerard last week after the Newcastle game, saying all the right things, etc, etc. But there's, there was no reaction at all, and it's the simple things like having a good first touch, getting out your feet, being quick about it. We just didn't have that at all. Bailey, when he came on, he gets himself into a good position, in the box, a bit of space, no first touch, you go straight out for a goal kick. Sort your first touch out, get your crossing, little things like that, being quicker on the ball, turning and going the right way, just little things, we're not doing the basics, that's the main thing for me. We're not doing the basics, we're not doing them well, we're not doing it at all. Watford, you know what they're all about, they've come, they've set up well, they'll come for a point and they'll smash and grab if they can, and they did. Ben Foster's shirt is still clean. He's not had to make a save. I don't care, Gerard said we've had 19 shots. One on target. It's embarrassing. I can't remember Ben Foster having to do anything. Emmy Martinez, fair play to him, has made a, re a couple of really, really good saves. They had a chance after their first where they probably should have made it 2-0. And uh, fair play to Watford. Do I think they'll probably stay up? No, but fair play. They've come to our place and they've got a win. And that's six points off us this season. Six points from Watford, a side that are going down. It's embarrassing, it really is. We've got absolutely no right to be going for these European spots this season. And 
Is this any better than what was happening under, St under Dean Smith? Not at all. Not in any way, shape or form. Am I prepared to give Steven Gerrard the summer? Of course. Of course I am. Let's be sensible. Give him the summer. This time next year, that's when we'll judge him. But... That was, that was terrible. Really, really shocking today. Fair play, Watford, they got their win. First win since November for them. What? But hey, we're off to Brighton next week. They lost 3-0 today against Burnley, so... If you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Watford fans, share this video around. Uh, comment your thoughts on the shambolic Villa performance we saw today. Subscribe, like, download Surfshark, top link in the description. And I shall see you next week, early one, for Brighton away. Up the Villa.